Good morning. Francis Pooling, Mr. Fran Nigatani, and going to, uh, thought it'd be a good idea to explore tying together the first position, second position, and fourth positions. No, fifth positions. First, second, and fifth positions of the A minor pentatonic scale for blues. And um, let's just quickly go over the A minor pentatonic scale in those positions and see where we're heading at. This is the first position. Slowly we go five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, and five, eight. I suggest you memorize that and learn that if you haven't already. The second position, likewise, uh, don't get too hung up on this position, uh, memorizing it if you haven't already. You'll get there. Uh, come up here to the 8th fret, go 8, 10, 7, 10, 7, 10, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8, 10. And then on the 5th position, come down here, I like to use my 2nd and 4th fingers because I use my 1st and 5th on the 3rd and 4th strings. So. Three five three five two five two five three five three five. We're just going to connect pieces of those to kind of connect them and get some uh, some liveliness and some happening into that, rather than just sit around the first position. stretching it out a bit more. Now, if we come down, let's say, to the fifth position of the minor pentatonic scale, we can simply go to that third fret, to the fifth, bring it down, third fret to the fifth. Now, we've eliminated, we're not dealing with this funky eighth fret up here, okay? So we're going one, three, there's a C note, right there, slide it up. We're right in that first position now. We're going from the fifth to the first position, slowly, with a little slide right there. Drop down to the fourth fret. Give a little vibrato there. Now we're in the first position. Bend that third string on the seventh fret. That's a good bend. Little vibrato on the seventh fret of the fourth string. So what we've done is we have tied together the first two strings of the fifth position. Third, fifth, third, fifth. Slide it up into that first position pentatonic. We're right there. Now let's take it down to the second position pentatonic, okay? Um, we're just going to simply for that go to the... You can do it a number of different ways. Um, one cool way is to slide up from the third string. We're going fifth, seventh. Slide from the seventh to the ninth. Whoops, <laughs> I missed it. Seventh to the ninth. You get that nice vibrato there. Then, you can use, I like to use my second finger because it's in position. But you can use your first finger, first and third. You can go first and third all the way on this. 
but um, I'm going to use my second finger because I'm used to doing it. And now we're in that second position using the first and the second strings. And if we want to go four, we go eight, ten, eight, ten, second and first. Little, um, little box right there. That's a good bend right there, too. That's that first string, tenth fret. Come up and vibrato that tenth fret on the second string. Basically, if you look at this, geometrically, we've gone in a slam. Right down, starting from the 6th fret, we've gone down to the 1st, we've used the 5th position pentatonic, the 1st position pentatonic, going down to that 2nd position pentatonic, kind of like in a slant like this. Works very nicely together on that. I hope that you will not just take the licks that I've shown you here. Uh, a couple, I, I hope that you will experiment in a couple of different areas. Number one, come up here to the third fret, to the fifth, back to the third, to the fifth on the fifth string, and slide it up into that first position. Go down to the fourth string, stay in the first position. Go down to the third string, stay in the first position. Go down to the slide down to the ninth fret on the third string. That puts you in the second position of the minor pen. Use those eight and ten on the first and second string, that little box. kind of experiment within that. Find what you can. Uh, play within your own within your own style with what you want to bring out. Don't base it on just what, what I'm doing here, but there is a ton of creativity in there for you to find as a guitar player and as an artist. Go for that. Go for that. Let me give you a quick example. And this is just me playing here, okay? There's so much more for you to do out there. Sliding up. Now I just use my seventh position on my fifth string. Little vibrato. Nice little treble in there. That's all first position. Now I can take that four stringer, slide it right up into that tenth fret on the second string. near a blues note, 8th fret on the 3rd string as I backed down. Gives a nice, nice bluesy effect. I'm going to ask you to exercise your own creativity on this, and I wish you luck and have some fun. Peace and love with you all. Have a great Saturday. This, by the way, is Saturday. Uh, we survived Friday the 13th. This is the 14th of September. And moving forward, enjoy.